Welcome to part three of my pattern haul. Um, I believe most of these patterns are simplicity patterns with the exception of this top one, which is the McCall's. Um, I did get all of these patterns in my last simplicity and McCall's pattern haul, but I wanted to put these separate for a very different reason. Now, I, when I first got on YouTube, one of the first people that I was doing vintage clothing was Gertie. And I absolutely loved her look and the things that she was making. And then somehow I got away from her videos. Then I came back and I found some other people like Haley Marie Vintage and So So Drew. And it just brought me back to realizing that I really like vintage fashion and vintage style. And it has me inspired to try some of them. Um, the first one is M7168. I picked up this pattern because I wanted to make a short swimsuit for an event that I went to recently. But there were some issues and I didn't get to make the swimsuit to say the least. But I do plan to and I just love this view here. I loved everything about it and I will still make it. Next one is Simplicity S9311 which is a 1950s vintage apron pattern i like all of these and i even felt like view c could be made into a dress and that's my favorite view also my daughters i'm in the kitchen a lot and i don't have aprons so this would be a great start for me next is simplicity s 9296 this is a pattern by gertie i love both versions of this dress mostly version a and i plan to make that one as well Next one is Simplicity S9290, another pattern by Gertie. And I love this view here, B and D, the shorts and the top. It's actually a Bolero Bustier sarong and shorts. And I don't know, I just like that. The fit is awesome and the shorts are great. This could be a play suit for a day out on the beach or at the pool or anything. It's just, it's beautiful. Next is Simplicity S8932. What I like most about this pattern is view A and C. So I knew I had to pick up this pattern as well as it would also fit with the swimsuits that I would like to make. Next is Simplicity S8645. Now, the view that caught my attention on this pattern was view B. I'm not sure if it's the polka dots, the color, or what, but I do love this neckline here, and I knew it was one that I had to get and make. And this one is a 1950s vintage. And this one was from the 1940s. Next is Simplicity 8510. This is a 1930s vintage pattern. It is a, let's see, a brassiere and panties pattern and I really like this this looks like it would be really nice to sleep in if you use some lightweight fabric even if you want to make it into some shorts you can do that with some thicker fabric and I really like this it would be different from what I do have in my collection now so I'm excited to make that next one is a 1950s vintage simplicity 1426 and this is bra tops I like Mostly I like view C because it does have the ties. A view A is nice as well, but I think the one I'm most interested in view C and I'll have to make that up soon as well. I mean, it's very cute. It looks a little more modern, but of course we know it's vintage style. I'm really looking forward to diving into vintage patterns and vintage clothing. If you've made any of these or you have any tips and suggestions for making up any of these patterns, leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing, hit that like button and that notification bell so that you'll know when I upload my next video. Until then, see it, make it, slay it.